Right, I'm one of the allotments now. You've seen me over the last few days shooting on. It's one I usually shoot rabbits on. Um, and now, this afternoon, I've got uh, my partner Laura's BSA Ultra with a Nico Sterling 4B32AO fixed mill dot scope on, uh, a little bipod, uh, and this uh, Ultra is straight out of the uh, factory. It's not been tuned, it's not been regulated, uh, and the reason I brought it is over the last probably four days I've had a lot of uh, PMs from people on YouTube and some questions from people on the Hunting Life Forum asking me about a, a BSA Ultra uh, you know and is it a good enough rifle to use for vermin and HFT uh, one guy actually sent me a private message on YouTube and he says Si I've just gained a bit of permission there's quite a bit of rabbit on it I've not got a rifle but I quite look uh, like the look of a BSA Ultra and I'm just wondering, I'd like your opinion, is it going to be good enough uh, to take rabbits out humanely at around about 25-30 metres is what I'll be shooting them at and also later on if I want to start a bit of this HFT or target shooting uh, will it be accurate enough to do it? Well I already know the answer to that and the reason I know that is because I've had three Ultras myself with this one and I actually think they're an absolute outstanding rifle uh, they're well underestimated due to mainly to do with the price they're off uh, and I think it's a credit to BSA that they are such a low price compared to other PCPs and I'm here today to hopefully uh, show you how good they are. I can put the uh, laser onto the camera for you. And it's, it's 31, 31 meters. So. I'll zoom in, and what you can see is a uh, little square with a red dot in, tiny red dot, probably about three quarters the size of a drawing pin, and then to the left of it you've got my rat uh, with one of the uh, restrictors in, it's not the smallest but it's the second smallest, and then to the right uh, you've got a couple of plinking targets. I need to uh, just check zero on this because I actually took one of the uh, scope mounts off last night to fit. Uh, an adapter for a, a lamp because on Thursday I've got a friend from the Hunting Life Forum, Regiman, coming up uh, and he loves ultras and he'll be using uh, Laura's Ultra to do a bit of rabbit shooting with me on this allotment. Uh, so it's just going to check it's not moved too much. If it does, I'll just adjust it quickly uh, and then once we're on, we'll have a few shots at the plinking targets and then if we've got time, I'll take it back uh, to some. Uh, further distances and show you just how good these ultras are straight out of the box uh, with nothing done to them like this one is. Uh, a lot of people think because they're uh, a pretty cheap rifle at around about £300 for a single shot that the low quality and accuracy is not very good. Uh, that's because they haven't tried them. I can, tell you, I can tell you now the accuracy on these ultras if you fill them to between 190 and 200 bar uh, are just as good uh, as probably something costing six or 700 quid. They're absolutely amazing little rifles. Right, I'll try and prove that to you anyway. Right, let's have a look. Let's see where the uh, where the zero is at the moment. Uh, can't actually see through the times four scope. I've only got a times four scope because like I say this is Laura's rifle she uses for HFT and we're beginner being a beginner early to shooting this is only sort of like I don't know maybe a first season really uh, I've put a low magnification low weight scope on uh, to assist her with the obviously the magnification and wobble and stuff I'll have another shot I'm not sure where they actually fall in the actual target I'm shooting at is <laughs> Smaller than the cross there, believe it or not. You know what? I actually think both them shots are in the bull, but I can't see. Well, I couldn't see the actual fall of shot uh, through the Times 4 scope, so I've moved up. Uh, to the target with the camera and if I zoom in you can actually see these two pellets just about through the same hole they're actually made of one hole group 
uh, they're a little low and they need to go maybe two clicks left and probably two clicks up uh, but that's the reason I couldn't see because they were basically on top of each other uh, so it starts to show you now the quality of these ultras if used correctly they're absolutely outstanding uh, so I'm going to take it now a few clicks like I say left a few clicks up and then I'm going to uh, see what it's like against these little plinking targets before I go back to some further range alright let's go back down to the rifle then Right, I've come back down to the rifle end and I'll just put the laser on just so you know I'm still at that same distance what you can what you can see is that when I zoom in I removed the white paper which was hard to see and I've put one of those black targets in with the uh, red dots and when you hit them it leaves like a lime green splat mark uh, just so you can see your fall a shot better which would be ideal for this low magnification scope I've made the few adjustments I needed left and up uh, hopefully uh, somewhere now the uh, reticles will be perfect uh, but like I say low magnification scope it's hard to see such a small target uh, but we'll we'll see roughly where we are we should be nearly on now and that's touching the ball give it another couple through the same hole and one more And believe it or not, three shots through the same hole. Looking through the scope though, I can actually uh, see that I could probably afford to go left, maybe one more click, which I'm gonna do, like so. And upper click, which will should really, really find just it. have a go for one of the, uh, let's go for the HFT target, the rat, with the restrictor in. Not a problem whatsoever, was it? Let's see if we can reset it now. Yep, it came up and actually dropped down. So I'll try again to reset it. Yep, it's up this time. Look at it now, I'm not actually sure if it did go down the first time, but that thing was definitely hit, so let's try again. Such a small little target. A low max go, there we go. Yeah, definitely went down there. You can see now the uh, potential of these rifles, like I say, it might only be 300 quid, which in terms of PCPs can be quite cheap. But accuracy wise, you shoot them correctly and you calibrate them right. Uh, and they're as accurate as a 600, 700 pound rifle. Alright. Let's 
There we go, look. They're absolutely devastating little rifles. Quite boring, really, the accuracy of this rifle. We've shot correctly. There you go, look, and resets. Right, I think it's proved to itself, or to, to you watching now, how good it is. We're going to move back now, which is going to be a right challenge for me having this scope on but we're at 30 now I'll probably move back another 10 meters uh, and then if we get time another 5 or 10 uh, which for anyone's range or distance shooting with an air rifle sub 12 foot pound like this one is pretty good but my aim is to show you and show people especially the ones who keep PM me, PMing me on the hunting life and on YouTube asking me uh, about ultras and are they worth the money yes definitely worth the money I love them this is the third one I've had uh, I rate them as one of the best uh, PCPs for the price you know there, there is on the market there's probably this one and the Air Arms S200 uh, you know round about not far off the same price range and they're both outstanding rifles Right, I'm back down now at the camera end and I've moved back and I'll try and get the uh, laser onto the camera and show you we're at 40 meters now I ain't got long left because I've got to go and pick uh, Laura up and what you'll see is uh, I've now removed the rat and the reason the rat has been removed because I've used him off camera to calibrate my old over point at 40 meters using this times 4 magnification scope uh, and I put a little black target circle with a red dot on, on, a, on the backstop uh, and I'm now going to adjust my windage turrets uh, so tip I, I'll give you, I always do, once I've zeroed exactly on a point as at 30 meters like you have just saw I then move back 10-15 meters and I adjust my windage elevations uh, one or two clicks because nine out of time nine out of ten times even on a still day like today uh, you'll be off to the side one way or the other and it's usually one or two clicks maximum if you go in any more uh, and then I should I suggest you've done something wrong with your setup of your rifle and your scope and you've probably not used a spirit level and it's not level so we're gonna give it half a mil dot hold over now uh, and adjust if need be uh, one or two clicks left or right on that little target and this is at 40 meters uh, no it's alright I'll, I'll better get over it not a problem thank you sir that's just one of the allotment owners. He's <coughs> quite happy with what I'm doing for him. And the rabbits what they seem to be deceasing quite quickly. Right, here we go then. Half a mil dot older over. And the actual target is that small, the reticle, the vertical post on the reticle is actually thicker, so I'm gonna have to guesstimate roughly where the red dot is. And you can see that's uh, pretty much not bad at all. If it had been any of the UK legal vermin on the register, or even something as small as a house mouse, uh, it'd have been dead. And there you go, see you again. Uh, just about actually on uh, online now for the left and right. Uh, the drop there was just obviously you're not using a constant point on the reticle when you're giving it half a mil dot of hold over. Right, anyway, get the point, 
let's have a go at some of these uh, spinning targets at 40 meters. We'll go from there. The one that's easiest for me to see, which is the one third from the left. Instead of just put a pellet in the uh, in the breach, and it must have been a different shape to all the others. It refused to go in. That's totally an out of shape, deformed pellet. All right, let's see if we can hit that again. There we go. I think that just proves it to you. And I'm just gonna zoom out again just so no one thinks I've done any editing or crafty work because I seem to have quite a few fans <laughs> on YouTube who seem to think that you know I've got nothing better to do than keep moving backwards and forwards and there you go I'm trying to trick people well that's me finished uh, it's getting dark now and I've got to go and pick Laura up from work uh, I hope this little demonstration's actually shown the people who's never actually used one of these or, or actually seen one being used, uh, you can now see how good they are. And despite the, the real low price, as I've already said, it's a credit to BSA uh, for what they produce, for the quality for the price, uh, these things are outstanding and are as accurate as the 600, 700 pound rifles if, you, if used correctly. Uh, and this is the reason why I've had three of them. I absolutely love these rifles. Uh, I've got no shame whatsoever in turning up in any HFT competition with this rifle as it is, not regulated, not tuned. And I'm sure if I if I put a better scope on for myself, because like I say this scope's more for Laura, I could do really well in a competition with it. Yeah, it's a real good rifle. And anyone who's thinking of getting one, uh, watch this uh, and you'll see they can handle anything. They're an absolute dream to shoot. Uh, and in one of my DVDs, uh, called the Vermin Sniper, I used one of these probably more than any other rifle and there's some amazing shots uh, that's been carried out with that rifle, really good, thanks for watching.